An animal hospital in Woodhaven is the only one of its kind in the entire state to have a cutting edge tool that's really saving the lives of countless animals. It's a hyperbaric chamber and the reason why Dr. Lucretia Greer invested in it will touch your heart. Here's Sean Lay. Dr. Lucretia Greer, she built Woodhaven Animal Hospital and she spent a lot to make sure it includes a hyperbaric chamber. She's named the chamber Hope. And the reason why is a miracle she sees every day. That's the color that we, got on we came to Woodhaven Animal Hospital to see a dog so burned by fireworks so named we're Destiny. Getting, uh, we're getting Destiny ready to go in the hyperbaric uh, chamber here. And we were surprised to see a hyperbaric chamber. This is the only one in the state of Michigan. Woodhaven Animal Hospital was built by veterinarian Dr. Lucretia Greer, and she strongly believes in pressurized oxygen to help injured pets recover from burns, paralysis, even near drownings. We've probably had close to 3,000 um, animals that we've treated in that chamber here. And then... You can lay down. Good girl. Dr. Greer surprised us again by revealing something deeply personal to us about why she believes so much in oxygen therapy. Oxygen heals, oxygen saves lives. I almost lost my son a few years ago. He had a near drowning incident. And uh, that was kind of the inspiration for me to have this technology. Dr. Greer's own son was four. He slipped into a Brownstown Township pool. When he was pulled from the water, he wasn't breathing. He had no pulse. Um, I mean, I just, I'm going to get choked up. It was a very, very hard, uh, it was a hard experience for me because I felt helpless. This mother of four, a veterinarian, who helps animals every day, was paralyzed with fear. Even as a doctor, I tried to do CPR, but I was so panicked about what was happening that I just, I couldn't. Because in that moment, with all of my skills, like I couldn't save my son. Others jumped into action. EMS began working on her son. Police shut down roads to get him to Children's Hospital. After seven minutes, a heartbeat came back. Seven minutes. That's incredible. It doesn't exactly make sense. Her son was alive, but there was brain damage. This mom would do anything to improve his quality of life. Again, it was just like having that, that kind of experience that really opened me up to some of these alternative things, because it's, when it's your own, I want, I, want something, I want something to work. He's my little miracle. Her son's name is Lucas. He's 10 today. He's a healthy young man. Perfectly healthy in part because of oxygen therapy. Lucas spent hours in a hyperbaric chamber during his recovery. Combined with other treatments, the results were stunning. He's a miracle and he inspires me. He inspires me every day and every time I come to work and I see, you know, another animal or another patient come in, it's just, don't give up. There's always, there's always something that can be done. There's always hope. Lucas is why Dr. Greer spent so much on having an oxygen chamber in her own animal hospital. And yes, she named the chamber Hope. That's what she is. That's hope. And sometimes hope saves the day. Hope, hope is, it's real. Sean Lay there. It, that technology really is amazing about uh, healing the brain. Even former football players are using that and seeing results, improving their brains. And you know what? It teaches all of us not to shy away from potential new technology yeah. that can really be life-changing like it changed her family. Yeah.